Hello everyone and welcome to Record Items Overview. In this video, you will learn the difference between resource properties, record item properties, and resource record item properties. You will learn about the different record item types, and you will also learn what a mount point is and how it can be useful to you. Firstly, I'm going to illustrate the difference between the properties belonging to resources, record items, and resource record items. The two examples of properties you could use for a resource are the name and date of birth. For a record item, you'll likely use the name of the record item and whether or not it can be assigned to multiple resources. Resource record item properties will not have values until you assign a resource to a record item. For example, the grade or issue date of a resource record item can't exist without a resource. Someone has to take the qualification to get a grade or issue a date for the session. Next, we're going to talk about some of the different record item types and why you might want to create them. For example, some record item types you can create are qualification record items and training history record items. These record item types act as folders in the system, so you can't assign a resource to a record item type. Only the record items that fall under the record item type. This system is comparable to how you wouldn't just drop all your files on the desktop. You create folders to organize them in. These record item types can be used as mount points to organize properties by the record item types they belong to. We'll move back to resources for our example of mount points. An example of two mount points are re human resources and devices and facilities. These are both mount points which function as categories that resources can be placed under. Two common properties for a resource under the mount point human resources would be a name and a date of birth. Conversely, a resource under devices and facilities would have a name and perhaps an ID number. As you can see, these mount points are both resource categories, but the properties of the resources linked to them differ. Because their properties differ, we organize them under the categories human resources or devices and facilities, so we can customize the properties to fit the resources categorized under this mount point. For example, we can choose to activate the property date of birth for a resource under human resources, but not for under devices and facilities. This has been an overview of record items. In the next video, I'll show you how to actually create these types, mount points, and properties we just discussed. This has been Record Items Overview. Thanks for watching.